Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I finally got around to do a little bit more of plate up for you guys. Um, what I have here to show you today is uh, how to automate all possible combinations of stir fry. Um, as far as I've tested this a little bit, the system is not absolutely perfect, but I think it's a good start. Maybe if you have a slightly bigger map, it would be easier. Uh, yeah, let me just show you how this is going on. Uh, I will start practice mode. Okay, and then I'll just activate the ghost mode so that I can go here and show you everything. So from here I have all the uh, walks coming. They mix with the rice here, cooks quickly there. There is no safety for this uh, because I need to be fast and to be honest, I don't have enough walks to occupy all the places. Uh, good. So you see that the empty walks are coming in from here and this is actually the, the worst part of this setup uh, because if I have something like this, for example, now I have a walk here that cannot travel all the way there and it will get stuck somewhere else. Usually this uh, line here is the, the biggest problem, but uh, let me go through it one by one. Uh, so, we have uh, broccoli, carrot and steak. You can combine any two of these ingredients correctly. So, you can have carrot or broccoli, carrot or steak and broccoli or steak. You can actually cook the three of them together but uh, the customers will not take it it will not even plate uh, I, I actually try that <laughs> uh, good so after the rice is cooked it comes to this teleporter and it goes first here where it mixes with chopped carrot you can see that the chopped carrot is being chopped just here I have a rapid mixer goes on to, into the eight and into the nine so this is the 8, after it is cooked it comes here, it goes there, a new plate comes to this position through this teleporter, it's plated with the combiner, you can always use a combiner to plate but then you need to remove the empty wok from the combiners. So. And then it's going here once it is plated i have a smart grabber of course and just to save a little bit of space i got this go corner grabber and there to the number one just to be ready for the customers here uh, the next one is the steak so i get here i get the steak comes from the 11 which is pre-shopped so i'm doing again here on the top uh, I shop the steak with a rapid mixer, it goes to the 11 and then goes to this one. We'll go there in a little bit. Uh, after this, it just goes there, it's uh, very similar to the other one. Uh, then we have the simple broccoli, so the broccoli is cooked here, it goes all the way there to the number 3, and before that, it comes to the 14. Okay, the 14 goes there and from here I can do broccoli with steak or broccoli with carrot okay so it comes here I have another mixer shopping the steak here because the steak takes a long time to shop uh, yeah and then it works exactly the same goes there goes there to the number four similar to that I have this uh, here where I mix the pre-cooked broccoli with a carrot and then it goes up there and to the number five. Uh, finally, the last one is steak and uh, carrot. So this starts uh, here on the teleporter 18, which is this one just there. And we mix the rice we cook the rice, then the steak is chopped and mixed together and cooked with the rice 
after everything is ready this smart grabber will take it and send it to the teleporter number seven which is this teleporter right here uh, where the steak comes the pre-cooked steak and rice comes in mixes with a carrot cooks again and it's sent to the combiner the combiner will send to these plates that are coming from the teleporter 16 and sends it to the number six very good in terms of dishwashing i don't have anything special i just have a soaking sink here for now of course that if i go later into overtime i'll probably need to change it for a wash basin and the system is actually not very good but i don't have any more space uh, my biggest problem really is that when I get to this situation for example then everything is stopped and I get nothing else coming from this side for example uh, we can run one day and I think it should be okay <laughs> okay I go smooth this off let's just start day 7 I think this might work fairly well for uh, some mid game scenario probably not deep into overtime and probably also n not very good for the initial start so this year we got lucky you see that the simple broccoli and rice takes quite a lot of time to be ready because I'm filling in all of those uh, uh, places down here I need to fill everything here so that then it can pass through this teleporter that might be some that could be improved I'm just not very sure how to do it to be honest I'll just let the timer run a little bit because it's also interesting for me to have all of these prepared in the freezers for the next day so as you can see the number 3 is the latest one and now for example if I press uh, to take the order for this guy and it takes one of these this will be empty and it will come here and get stuck okay now we can do it and so can you as I said it's not a perfect setup but uh, yeah <laughs> if you have any suggestions you can also let me know maybe this will work better in a slightly bigger map uh, one of my considerations is actually to remove this table here and uh, get another line here to empty the empty walks walks if there is enough rotativity of the dishes that they are taking i think it shouldn't be too much of a problem but uh, yeah it really needs to be deeper into maybe by the day 15 or something when you get a few more customers and then it would be a good chance to start taking some side dishes to reduce the customers to keep them level to go into overtime maybe 10 15 maybe 20 but uh, yeah instant service or double helpings let's do instant service uh, actually these cards were picked I'm using this uh, mods it's called choose your own cards I will make uh, some quick video showing you how to install this mod it might be useful for you if you want to test something or to run your exact uh, runs there we go as you can see it's still not very it's not very functional at the moment <laughs> because you cannot see all the cards on the screen and there are some weird jumps but I'm sure that developer is all working on that he's actually a nice guy I've talked with him a few times because I also had my own problems installing the mod I just want to disable this black coffee for now there we go it's 
go for another day see what happens and if you have any ideas on how to improve this let me know <laughs> oh maybe instant order was actually a bad idea but yeah <laughs> Because now they will not wait for stuff to be ready. Anyways, uh, like I've said in one of the previous videos, I'm I'm sorry that this is taking so long. Uh, but yeah, I'm full of work at the moment. I uh, I'm actually recording this in Denmark today. Hopefully, I go today back to to my home in Germany. Uh, <laughs> but to be fair i'm still not sure uh, anyway guys thank you for watching if you have any suggestions uh, any questions or yeah anything else that you'd like to see please let me know and uh, i'll see you on the next one if you enjoy just leave a like subscribe bye